According to new FCC filings, SpaceX is working on a new Starlink receiver that's about the size of a laptop. We've got a few details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you another update on SpaceX and Starlink and their massive Starlink constellation. And today's news is about the Starlink ground terminal. You know, often known as the Dishy or the Starlink receiver. And this is here a current Starlink standard, which is what is offered to most customers who have the Starlink residential or the Starlink for RVs plan. This $599 receiver has been out for a while now and, um, well, does its thing. But, well, SpaceX has now filed with the FCC to begin offering potentially a new generation of Starlink receivers. The version 2 is what they describe it as. That is more portable, smaller, and a better suited for mobility. So what do we know? Not a lot. The FCC filings are mostly focused on the RF specifications, um, the, the how it's going to perform and communicate and not interfere with other devices. But reading the details, we can see a few things. And in particular, the new Starlink version 2, Starlink receiver version 2 mini, is that some people are calling it, is going to be about the size of a 14-inch MacBook Pro. So half the size, presumably thinner, presumably no longer pole mounted and flat. They, we do know that Starlink is filing for this to be an in motion use compatible device as well as for a fixed location. So a whole new generation of the Starlink receiver here. It's pretty exciting and smaller is always better, or is it? Well, actually, when it comes to antennas, smaller is not always better, and usually it's not better at all because there is less antenna gain, um, and well, that is what is determines how much uh, focusing ability the antenna has to talk to the satellites in space. So, based on the numbers that were shared with the FCC, the new Starlink Mini will be compromising performance. Um, how much that actually reflects to average end users and what you see, particularly in congested markets, is going to remain to be seen until these things actually ship, but they will have less performance. It has less uplink power capability and um, less uh, field of view of the sky. So it is a step backwards from the Starlink standard, but it is smaller, probably much cheaper for Starlink to produce, very likely lower power consumption, and um, well, it supports mobility. So it's got to have a lot of advancements as well. And then well. To compensate for some of these step backwards in antenna performance, well, as we covered in our other most previous uh, uh, video, Starlink has begun launching their second generation satellite network, the satellite constellation that has more powerful satellites with bigger antennas on the satellites. So the bigger antennas on the satellites can help compensate for smaller antennas on the ground. And if the, depending on how all the math works out, it might actually work out to be basically a uh, you know, equivalent. So we will have to wait and see until this all comes out, um, how the actual end user impact is. But if you do have a current Starlink standard, don't feel like you need to rush and upgrade because, well, in some ways, unless you really need that smaller size or that mobility, it might be a downgrade. And again, well, we don't know when these will actually be available to consumers. Now, there is also a second new Starlink uh, receiver that was in the uh, FCC filings. It is a new, slightly smaller version of the high-performance Starlink. So that was the version that was twice as big as the Starlink standard, the big square that was currently designed for in-motion use. It's what's available for the in-motion version of the Starlink for RVs uh, kit, and it's also what's sold for Starlink Maritime. It's the only in-motion consumer-accessible Starlink system available. And, well, it looks like there's a new version of that that is basically kind of more akin to the size of the Starlink standard, um, probably somewhat slightly worse performance, but again, it is stepping back and you know being um, um, likely cheaper to produce and all of that. So there'll be two new Starlink receivers coming to market. When? Well, here as of um, March uh, 2023, the SpaceX has just now filed with the FCC to get permission to sell these. The FCC has to certify them and uh, decide to accept the applications. There might be some modifications. And then, well, SpaceX is still just ramping up building their new Starlink factory in Texas. So it's totally unclear how quickly they'll be ready to bring these to market and mass produce them and such. Probably sometime in 2023, um, likely not soon, likely not towards the end of the year, somewhere in the middle, 
SpaceX, it's always hard to guess. But if you are in the market for Starlink uh, equipment, keep this in mind. There's a new generation of hardware coming. The one thing that is not discussed in the FCC filings is the specific physical details of what it looks like. And what we really hope is different is new cable end connectors. The Starlinks, uh, all the existing Starlinks use proprietary cables and end connectors that are notorious for failing. So we're hoping that SpaceX is using this chance at a redesign to, to do a much better job on those cables and connectors to make them more weatherproof and uh, more reliable long term. Fingers are crossed. That would be a huge, huge upgrade. And um, well, we'll be paying close attention to see when real specific details come out of SpaceX on this. And we'll keep you updated here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.